what's going on CPAP Nation? So last night I tried out the Fisher & Paquel Sleep Style CPAP machine for the first time. I loved it. One of the best machines I've ever used. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you what I love about this machine and whether or not it may be the right choice for you. Stay tuned because we're getting right into the review. So before we get into the review guys, I just want to give you a side-by-side -side comparison between the Fisher and Pacquiao Sleep Style versus the ResMed AirSense 10 here in the Philips Dream Station. So what they have here is a nice box-like design. And on the AirSense 10 where the humidifier comes out the side here in the Dream Station, this humidifier comes out the top here. Fisher and Paquel did something very innovative. They put the humidifier in the center of the console and we will go into that. And I also like the handle, easy to carry and transport if need be. The sleep style comes with this travel bag. There is plenty of room in here for you guys to put your wallet, accessories, a small portable CPAP cleaning device. As you can see, I have mine all stuffed in there and there's plenty of room for extra. Comes with a heated tubing. It's called the Thermostart Breathing Tube. It's the power cord. And I like this power cord better than other CPAP manufacturers. And the reason being, and I'm gonna show you, is that with other CPAP manufacturers, you get this big brick and you have a, a separate cord that's plugging it in and going to a wall to the machine. And if you guys are traveling to uh, hotel rooms or somebody else's house, I don't know about you, I don't want this thing on the floor, then I'm stuffing it in my bag with my mask and my machine. I have OCD to begin with, and uh, that's one of my biggest pet peeves with uh, traveling with these types of bricks. Where the Fisher & Paquel sleep style, comes with this cord. People are gonna say, well, with other CPAP manufacturers, you can use them in just about every country with the power conversion of the brick. And this will convert 115 to 240, no problem. It just plugs in the back. And no matter what country you're in, it's gonna convert the power where you're not going to destroy this thing. And that's one of the biggest arguments that people make with off-brand CPAP machines. Just like the other big names in the industry, you do have the heated tubing, which is great for the humidifier. Goes in the back, and you can turn this 360 degrees, which is great, so no matter what side of the bed you're sleeping on. And I also like this plastic feature they did, because oftentimes I see with other brands is that this hose breaks apart at the end here after a little bit of time. So this plastic is gonna keep this intact where if you spin or rotate that, it's gonna put less pressure off the end. I do see a ton of hoses that break right just at the end. You have the filter in the back here, standard filter. Just squeeze it, it pops off. Every month or three months I tell people to replace that. They did a little handle here. I think it's great, it's very portable. One of the coolest features I like with this machine is that they put the humidifier inside the machine. So you have the humidifier here and it goes right in the machine and it has a silicone top where it pops off and you're gonna get a great seal as air pressure from the machine is coming from this end and it's going out the tubing, so you're getting a great passover system for a humidifier. And what I really like about all this is you can't put the silicone top backwards because it, it will not go in, it will not fit right, so you can only put it one way. And the same thing with the machine. So you have your humidifier, and if I were to put it in wrong, it's not fitting in. This is not going down. That's very, very clever that you cannot mess this up. It's very easy. It only goes in one way and you can only shut it and that's it. So another thing I want to talk to you guys about is filling up this humidifier. 
So you take off the silicone top and you fill out the humidifier by filling one of these two holes. So I'm gonna get some water and I'm gonna show you a great feature I like about filling up this humidifier. So what I love about this humidifier chamber is you have the line here that's standard amongst other manufacturers where you have the check mark under the line and you have the X for going above the line. However, Fisher and Paquel took it a step further where they put these little max lines at the top. So when you're filling it up, as I'll show you, as soon as that max line gets covered in water, that means that you filled it to the max. So I just covered it, and as you'll see, without even looking at the outside line, we're right below that check mark. So easy filling for you guys who have a hard time seeing or trying to hold this up and dump water in at the same time. There's no more of that. As soon as those max lines are covered, you know it's filled, ready to go. One of the things I stress the most, guys, is about keeping your humidifier clean and changing them out regularly as this is a breeding ground for bacteria and mold where it can make you sick. Fisher and Pakel took it a step further where inside the machine, because of where the humidifier chamber goes, this silicone piece where it connects to the hosing and the back of the humidifier can be cleaned out. You guys can clean that out with soap and water. It goes back in really easy. I think that is a great hygienic feature on a CPAP machine that I don't see anybody else doing. And I'll give you a little glimpse of the inside. There's the burner there. As I showed you before, goes in and it closes. Simple things like this impress me because they're thinking. They're thinking of every little thing to do on this machine where somebody like me who has OCD, it's gonna make me really happy. On the back here too, you have a standard USB so your doctor can download the device. You can download the app called Sleep Style or you or your provider can go to the Sleep Style website and access your data as it has a built-in cell modem. Let's start this up and I'm gonna show you guys the great features this has. So as you turn on the machine, you're gonna see these four icons. One is for the thermo start heated tubing. You'll see it and it'll show that it's working properly by being lit up. You'll see the info USB port there that it means that the USB stick is in there. It's collecting data okay the Bluetooth, and then you will have the cell bars telling you the strength of your cell connection so this can call in and upload your data. Start stop button is here. You have up and down to scroll through menus. You have the enter button and you have a menu button. To start the machine, you just press start. In order to turn on ramp, you would hold this down and then the machine would ramp and you will see the little ramp symbol. Shut it off, easy enough, it turns off. While the machine's on, if you hit the up and down arrows, you will get humidity bars. You're gonna get seven bars, seven being the highest humidity. Last night I set mine right around four, right in the middle. I tend to do that with most of my patients and I did that with myself. When you turn the machine off, you're gonna get data that comes up. Last night I used the machine, I slept for nine hours. I never sleep for nine hours. Usually I average around five hours. Mask leak normal. If it's out of control, you'll see high. And I had a 6.3 AHI last night. I had a few drinks last night. Usually my AHI is a lot higher if I have a few drinks. I usually am right around anywhere from one to three. And one of the reasons I slept so well last night on this machine is because Fisher and Paquel have a uh, therapy mode in this called, called Sense Awake. This is one of my favorite features on this machine and I used it last night. So my pressure is a setting of 15. I often wake up a few times during the middle of the night to reset my machine back to ramp. And this Sense Awake feature, what it does is when it senses that you're awakening, that it will drop to the lowest pressure that your clinician sets this for. And I set mine for four. I mean, you can set it a lot higher than four um, because I know some of you guys out there where you use a ramp of four, it feels like you have nothing at all and you like to start off with something higher. So I suggest on the sense awake that your clinician sets you up on a higher setting. It could go eight, nine, whatever you want if you're at a higher pressure like me. 
So last night while I'm sleeping, um, as soon as I'm about to wake up or I wake up, the machine is going to drop from a 15 down to a 4 almost instantaneously. It's a lot easier for me if I'm semi-awake or I'm awake at all to fall back asleep without waking up, getting up and tapping the, uh, the ramp button or starting the machine on and off. This is one of my favorite features. I think that's why I slept so well. I slept nine hours and I think it had to do with that feature. I think it's very innovative. It's great with this machine. I love it. Am I saying uh, with your other machines, is this better than everything else out there on the market? I'm saying if you're having problems like I did with other machines where you need that sense awake feature, I think that's phenomenal. It also has expiratory relief as well. If you want this machine to back off on the pressure, it will, just like all the other machines out there on the market. Through the menu, you can also go to the day of the week, the week or the month and check out your data. As you can see, I slept nine hours, scroll down, Mask leak was normal. If it wasn't, it would say high AHI 6.3. It will automatically scroll through. You guys can do that for the week or the month by just using the up and down arrows. You guys, I'm in clinical menu. Either your clinician or your respiratory therapist or your doctor will be able to access this menu. So I'm gonna show you one of the best features and my favorite feature on this device, which is called Sense Awake. You can set the pressure. I set my pressure at four. So even though I'm at a 15, uh, as soon as the machine senses that I'm about to awake or I'm semi-awake, it's gonna go straight down to a four. With a lot of you guys, you tell me that four seems like too little and you need more pressure than that. So you have the ability to increase this as high as you want no greater than your pressure. So, you know, a good thing might be half for some of you, but for me, I'm starting off at a four. I may tweak that as time goes on, but that seemed to give me a great night's sleep last night. So your clinician can always set that for you. And I will just run up and down this clinical menu with you. You can do auto or straight CPAP. Expiratory relief, I don't use that feature myself because I tend to have a lot more events. It works somewhat like a bi-level when it backs off the pressure, but for some of us, including myself, we need that big pressure to exhale against. That helps create oxygenation in the lungs. And that's pretty much it for the clinical menu. As far as the machine, noise-wise, it's running at less than 30 decibels, just like Philips, just like ResMed. It's in the 20s. I quiet used it last night. Couldn't tell it was in the room. Same thing. I've used the AirSense 10. I've used the uh, Respironics Dream Station. Don't notice a difference at noise level at all. And I have very acute hearing. I downloaded the app on my phone. So on this, same thing you can get on there. Mask leak was normal, 6.3 AHI and nine and a half hours sleep. And at the bottom, you can get what day of the week you slept. So for you guys who are going into your doctor's offices for visits and you wanna show them information, you can show them directly from your phone. And you can even get more comprehensive data uh, by clicking more details, actually give you a mask leak graph. Unfortunately, guys, I don't know too many providers that do this machine under insurance. And one of the reasons being is that this costs a lot more to make over a traditional CPAP machine that's probably made over in Asia or Vietnam or somewhere where there is a much cheaper labor force. I give Fisher and Pakel credit. They are a New Zealand company. They kept the manufacturing of these machines in New Zealand. And at the time of taping, I believe minimum wage over there is $17 or $18 an hour. So a lot of credit goes to them. Uh, for such a great model and keeping the production of the machines within their country. So high-end machine, a lot of great features, but for you guys who don't have insurance, who have high co-pays, high deductibles, or you have the money to buy a machine, I would suggest looking at the sleep style. I'm using this as my personal machine. Um, I like it and for the fact that I was able to sleep uninterrupted last night, uh, with that sense awake feature. 
Philips and ResMed don't have that feature. And that feature is not for everybody. I mean, there's people who just put in a pressure and they fall right asleep and they have no issues and they don't need that. Like me, who've had a hard time going through the entire night um, in chaos where you're keeping up your spouse, you, you're constantly waking up. Great machine, great cleaning capabilities. It's just as much capability of all the other machines, except it has that added bonus. Last note too, for you older folks, for you senior citizens, for you guys who have arthritis, arthritic fingers this won an award from the arthritis foundation for ease of use because with arthritis can take this out and they can maneuver it and they have the big buttons you can press it with the side of your palm of your hand and you can do so with the other buttons props great machine guys highly recommend it check with your provider to see if they have these machines at the time of taping they're 999 dollars and you guys can get them through us, or I suggest contacting your provider. If you have somebody locally, they can help you out as well. All right, guys, leave your comments in the comment section. If I missed anything, please put it in the comment section and I will look through the comments. I'll answer anything I can. If you guys haven't, hit subscribe. Make sure you go to the bottom right-hand corner. Hit Appreciate every single one of you. Thank you, guys. Sleep well, be healthy.